Who are they? Oh, those are the Sullens. They're like all adopted by Dr. Carlton, so they're not biologically related, but they're really, really close. <laughs> They moved here a few years ago, and they're like super weird. It's a total mystery. Their skin is ice cold, they feed on human flesh, and they all sleep in coffins. Maybe they're Canadian. Uh. And who's that? Snooky, J. Wow, DJ Polly D. No, not the douchebags from the Jersey Shore. Him. The really pale dude with big hair and constipated look. Edward Sullen. He's a complete hottie. <laughs> but evidently, no one here is worthy. <laughs> he wouldn't even accept me as his Facebook friend. F favorite activity? Searching for soul which has been cast into eternal damnation? But I don't care about Edward. I've got another guy on the side. Sadly, he went off to fight in Iraq for a year, but we write to each other all the time. His name is John. Dear John, two weeks together, all it took to fall in love with you. And in those two weeks, you did things to me no guy had ever done before. I just hope I'm able to poop again soon. Are you, like, even listening? <laughs> oh, you guys are having, like, an instant connection. How can you tell? Duh, Hardwick 101. You're both staring at each other in slow motion, which, although cheesy and obvious, it underscores your respective yearnings. Oh, great. Ah, Becca. Why don't you take the empty seat next to that mysterious boy you're destined to have a fatalistic relationship with that will spawn four books in a movie franchise? Do I smell? Yeah, like tuna. Lunch. <laughs> <laughs> 